What's going on guys? We're back here again in Miami, Florida. We are in my gym today. Uh, we're gonna be doing a video, a fitness video. It's gonna be um, squat and deadlift day, a push pull, uh, what I would call a push pull day. Uh, definitely not 100%. We're gonna be doing um, two top sets of three reps. So I'm hoping today to get to 555 for a triple and um, probably the same for on um, deadlift. Uh, 555 for a triple on squats and the same on deadlift today. Uh, it's just a strength thing, okay? Uh, I'm a huge firm believer that squatting and deadlifting is a must and a great foundation for strength work uh, for any athlete, period, or whether you're a powerlifter or not. Uh, I like powerlifting. Um, you don't have to be a powerlifter, but in regards to just being a foundational athlete, you definitely have to squat, you definitely have to deadlift. Uh, maybe you don't have to do a barbell deadlift, but at least I would recommend to do a hex bar deadlift or a trap bar deadlift if you don't do a barbell deadlift. Okay, so it's just gonna be better for your lower back, your hamstrings and your glutes, regardless of how you look at it. Uh, as you get older, you need a strong back to pick up things, so on and so forth. Same thing for squats. Um, the big numbers aren't really a factor, but at least I would say you kind of want to always double your body weight on squat and deadlifts. So if you're 100, uh, 150 pounds, you want to be at least a 300 pound squatter and at least a 300 pound deadlifter. Uh, that's the goal. Um, today, uh, I'm going to be uh, doing uh, mid fives, uh, which I've obviously done more than that. Uh, you guys have seen in my other videos, I've squatted you know, more than that and I've deadlifted way more than that. Uh, but that's not the point here. Um, the point is just you guys get some form of understanding of how sometimes I do things. Now, the program today is just a top set of three for this and a top set of three for that, right? I have done before where I'll do a five and a five back-to-back -back supersetting before as well, where I do five reps squat, five reps deadlift, superset both of them with no rest. I've done that before too as a push-pull, uh, which was a, that's a pretty tough one, back-to-back, -back, no resting. Okay, I've also done where I'll do a three for three and a three for three. So three sets, three reps of squats, three sets, three reps of deadlifts um, for that day as well. So it just depends. Now, I do both of them on the same day, mainly because my hip, okay? I have a lesion in my femur on the left side. So what happens is if I just squat one day and then I wait two or three days and then deadlift the next, like two or three days later, my body is still recovering and is sore from the squatting. So deadlifting is gonna be really, really hard for me to start on deadlift and the pain is just, it's just, it's just really hard. And a lot of times I don't hit the numbers that I need because I start off with deadlifting instead of warming up with squatting. Okay, so in high side it's, it's harder, obviously to do both things at the same time, but for me it works out better uh, because of my, uh, whatever, I, you know, my genetic lesion that I have. Okay, so now a couple things. Definitely it's important to understand for a squat. Okay, you always wanna squat on um, f a flat surface. A lot of, I see a lot of people that squat with these Nike shoes that are the, the, um, the bottom soles are kind of like uh, very, uh, the rubber is really, it's not very hard rubber, I guess you could say. So whether you squat on flat feet or maybe like Converse, Diego, you have Converse there or Vans? Let me see. Depending on your, your hip mobility and your ankle mobility um, will depend on what you should be squatting on, what shoes you should use, okay? Some people use shoes like these, all right? Where it's a very flat, flat um, surface. See how hard it is, okay? Some guys use uh, these type of shoes where it's flat surface as well. And then you have individuals that squat with all these, okay? Uh, or they call them heels. Uh, as you can see, this has a heel on it. It's a little bit lifted, but it's still hard. Okay, these are Reeboks, okay? Um, the lifters, 2.0s that I use. I think these are dis discontinued, but I've been using these for a very long time. Now you have these, and you have like uh, uh, the Nike Romaleos, okay? Which are a little bit higher. They throw you forward a lot more. So it all depends on what type of person or how your ankle mobility is, how your hip mobility is, and, and all those different things, and also your bar placement. Because you have high bar, you have mid bar, and then you have low bar. Okay, depending on what how you squat. But one thing I do recommend is don't use Nikes that have those thin, those really, the really, uh, you know, the thick soles of the rubber and it's, it's not a good hard rubber, right? Either you squat barefoot or you squat in some kind of shoe like this. These shoes can run you used, how much did you get used your, your used ones for? Like 60 bucks, 70 bucks? 40 bucks. You can find these used for 40 bucks um, if you don't have the money or you can buy them new for 100, I think they're 100, 120 dollars. 
Okay, uh, and these vans, how much these vans run? run? 60 bucks, so 60, 70 dollars. Um, uh, you know, so it's not that much. Uh, you know, if you don't wanna squat barefoot, some people like to squat barefoot, but whatever. But I do definitely recommend you to, whatever it is, you squat on a hard surface, you don't squat on a, you know, on a uh, biased surface. So, next thing, uh, highly recommended in regards to gear is some form of knee protection, okay? Knee protection, we have knee sleeves here. Usually all the gear that I run is all Slingshot, okay? Uh, Slingshot is owned by Mark Bell, um, but there is also other companies out there as well that you could use, um, that they have knee sleeves, elbow wraps, uh, elbow sleeves, wrist wraps, and all kinds of stuff, so it's your choice. But highly recommended, especially if you're gonna you know, be uh, squatting a lot for your some kind of knee protection. Okay, as you can see here, you can see these knee sleeves. Um, uh, this is what I use. So I use these type sleeves, okay? Some guys wrap. When they wrap, uh, when you wrap your your knees, you really have to know how to wrap your knees, okay? And it's a process. I don't really wrap that often. Um, so uh, if I do, it's somebody who knows what they're doing and then you, you have to change your entire squat positioning and all that stuff. It's just basic knowledge, guys. I just wanna put it out there in case you're not a power lifter and you don't know all this stuff. Uh, these are just some, some of the basic stuff, okay? So you got knee sleeves, really important. Um, you wanna get yourself, for deadlifting, I have, these shin, shin protection, okay? If you don't need shin protection, um, it, it's just so, I, I wear them. These are from Slingshot as well. Uh, so you put these on your shins and they protect your shins from when, you, when you're when you deadlifting. I have a hematoma that I got a long time ago right here, you can see on my shin, um, that it grew really big from the, and it kept messing up and the pain is pretty bad. So I don't usually um, deadlift without these things on unless I'm in a competition. Okay, and then you wear like a sock, a really long sock. So uh, that's one thing that I recommend if you have the money to buy or some kind of shin protection. Okay. Um, belt. Belt's really important, okay? A good belt. Um, there's other types of belts as well that are not so thick. Uh, they're thinner, that are smaller, um, that are not so thick here. Um, I don't recommend if you're squatting, if you're gonna be squatting heavy on a regular basis to have like one of those cheap Vallejo belts or one of those cheap uh, $20 belts, you know, get yourself a belt. Belts like these, this is a Cardillo belt. Um, belts like these cost about, about $150, $140. This one's custom, but it's just a regular belt, this type. Um, you can get it, either get it like this, okay, with the prongs, or you can get a lever, okay, a lever belt. Um, they cost about 140 bucks, but you buy it once and you'll never have to buy a belt again forever. These belts last you years and years and years if you take care of them, okay? So belt's really important. For squatting, another very important um, piece of gear is wrist wraps, okay? Uh, depending on how heavy you go and depending on how how you run a low bar or high bar or whatever or how tight you're in, it, the bar will start pressing on your wrist like this. So you kind of want something to support your wrists, okay? Anything that I'm telling you guys, knee sleeves, belt, and wrist wraps, uh, if you already decide to compete, you'll be able to use them in your competition, okay? As long as they're approved. So. Um, all this stuff is USPA approved. This is also Slingshot, okay? And I also have my own Urban Camo wrist wraps as well from Slingshot too that I sell them as well, okay? So, um, very important wrist wraps, right? Little things like this, if you're serious about lifting and you're serious about fitness and all that, get the gear you need, you know what I mean? And don't get cheap gear, you know, at least get some decent gear. Doesn't have to be the best of the best, but get, you know, try to stay in that mid range, you know, uh, and that's the goal. Um, you know, you wanna, you wanna be serious about something and you want longevity. Uh, uh, I've been training since I was 15 years old and I'm 40 years old. Uh, I've probably trained harder than 99% of the world and most of my life and career and all that stuff and I'm still here. Um, I'm probably all broken up and stuff, but I'm still moving and I'm still chucking. So I do wear all this stuff. I wear it all the time, just so I have another 10, 15 years left in me. Um, and I also do a lot of therapy, which a lot of guys that talk all this shit all uh, the haters and all the trolls on Instagram and social media that have no idea who the fuck I am. I love to talk shit. I do therapy on a regular basis. Um, all these people like to say that I'm not gonna have a back by the time I'm 50 or I'm not gonna have, you know, legs by the time I'm 50. You know, well, well I think I am because therapy is gonna help me in that process. 
and I'm very smart on what I do. There's a reason why I've been fucking doing this for so goddamn long and I'm still doing what I do. So another thing I wanna talk about is my subscription service, guys. Really, really important, okay? Uh, I started a subscription service where it's gonna have all my online programs on them. My human animal, my lockdown program, um, my arm blaster, my leg destruction, it has everything, everything, everything. It's only about $29 a month, uh, 30 bucks a month, and you have access to all my stuff. It also has 150 tutorial videos, over 150 videos, mindset videos, behind the scenes videos, has all kinds of stuff. So if you really wanna do my online training, um, the link is gonna be in the description, okay? And also all my gear and stuff like that, you'll be able to find it down there in the description as well if you're looking for some stuff. Okay, so um, let's get to it. Today I'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking on the video uh, because the music's going on, the gym's open, um, and uh, I don't really wanna be talking with all the music and all that stuff. Uh, so be doing a lot of voiceover. I'm gonna be talking about what I'm doing, how I'm doing, and all those different things. All right, guys, see you out there. It's uh, 5.55 on the bar, I'm gonna go for a single first, see how it feels, and then uh, if it feels good, I'll go for the triple. Alright guys, so I just finished 555 for a triple. Um, you're gonna see five plates and a 25, okay? I'm using a squat bar, a Texas power bar squat bar, which is 55 pounds, it's a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. Um, uh, so instead of 45, it's a 55 pound bar. I did it for a triple, not too bad. Um, maybe like on the second rep or so, I, I thought it was maybe a tad high. Sometimes, you know, you think you go all the way and you hit depth and you know, sometimes you don't, you know? But my speed on the way up was really good, I was happy with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a, um, a deadlift and see where I'm at for the triple as well. The goal is uh, the same weight or maybe 585 for a triple. Let's see where I'm at. Four and a half, four and a half plate, single rep, then five, single, and then five and a half. So it's going up pretty good so far. I see uh, my hip following me a little bit, but not too much. 
So, so you guys don't know, uh, I run hook grip. So hook grip is when you put your finger under the bar. So these right here, these little things right here, they help a little bit with the hook grip. So when I get to the higher, higher weight, I'll take this off. But on my way up there, it saves my thumb from getting torn up. So um, these are really, really good if you've never seen them before. But no, I don't, I don't run over, double overhands. I do a double overhand probably the first, second set, one plate, two plate. And then, um, then I'll end up going to hook all the way after that, you know? Uh, and then I'll run it. Hook grip's harder to do when you're doing a lot of reps. So if you're doing four, five, six, seven reps, it's really hard. Because the hold that for, for that, when you drop it, fucking kills your thumb. So uh, just something, you know, to think about. So just finished up um, squats and some deadlifts. Now I'm gonna do some uh, box jumps, okay? Uh, you guys know I'm a firm believer in agility, strength, power, speed, agility, and all that stuff. So I'm mixing a little bit of uh, explosive jumping into uh, the routine today. I did. Uh, I ended up doing the 555 on squats, 565 on deads, which I, I could have definitely gone heavier. I probably could have done six plates for a triple on deads today. Um, then I did some deficits, 405, a couple sets there. Now I'm gonna do some jumps. Jumps I'm gonna be doing is gonna be single leg right, single leg left, and then uh, both legs together. That'll be one, and then I'll do that for like five, uh, five reps, three sets, okay? So uh, that creates is your ability to be still explosive or maintain explosivity after your, your muscles and everything is fatigued. And that's the goal here, is to be able to stay explosive throughout your entire training or whatever it is, me, all the way up to the end, even when you're exhausted or fatigued, you still have that explosive ability. Um, that's why I do it. I am doing single leg right, single leg left to create the same explosive power on both legs. Because obviously if you're jumping off both legs all the time, um, one, you're always gonna pull off, push off one more than the other whether you're righty or lefty or whatever your, your strong leg is. So that's why it's good to, to do both legs equally by themselves, isolaterally, um, and then do them together, you know what I'm saying? All right, so the shoes that I use for strength conditioning, jumping, and agility work are the Innovates f Flight 260s, okay? Um, if you wanna see a complete gear list, all right, of what I use and all those different things, check out the card in the corner, and that'll show you the video that uh, has all my stuff. So next thing we're gonna do are the jumps, get ready. So that pretty much concludes the training for the day. Squatted with the 555 for a triple, squatted 565 for a triple, and then did some deficits at 405, and then three sets of uh, box jumps at two feet. Uh, we have 20, it was two feet? Yeah, it was two feet. Um, isolateral jumping, right side, left side, and uh, both legs, you know? 
Um, this is all stuff that I cover on my online training, on my subscription service um, with over 150 something tutorial videos, probably up to 160, 170 already. You know, so I have tons of videos that I'm putting on every single week, um, just how I do things, okay? Whether uh, some people have their ways of doing stuff, I have my ways of doing stuff, this is how I've been able to do all the things that I do. So I'm giving you as much as knowledge as I possibly can there. Uh, you also have access to every single one of my programs, not just one, every single one. So it's, you're talking about bodybuilding, strength conditioning, powerlifting, uh, MMA, I'm doing, I do boxing in, in, in the subscription service, do all kinds of stuff. So it's a little bit of everything. Everything that I do, it, at the end of the day, my whole goal has always been to, to be an all around athlete, to be strong, to be powerful, to be explosive, to have agility, to run, to fight, jump, and then I, of course the tactical side, shooting, and all that type of stuff. So it's important now with all this stuff that's going on in this world. And um, I don't usually get into politics or things like that on, on my channel. But one thing I do want to say about everything that's going on in the world and uh, the protesting and, and uh, what's going on with the police and all that, as you guys know, I was a law enforcement officer for 15 years and I retired about uh, three or four years ago. And you know, it, it's sad to see a lot of the things that are going on. Uh, I don't think anybody's happy about it. Everybody's pretty upset, pretty upset, however they feel. Whatever race you are, whatever color you are, doesn't really matter. Uh, you're upset on one side or the other. The only thing I can tell you is this. I'm not gonna go into details of how I feel about it, but I am gonna say this, one thing. Regardless of what race you are, whether you're white, black, purple, green, orange, I don't care. You owe nothing to anyone. Don't be ashamed of who you are or your race, ever, ever. I don't care who you are. Black, white, green, purple, right? Don't be ashamed of who you are. If you're living in today's age, be proud of your race, be proud of who you are. We're all equal in this freaking world. And I'm tired of seeing Oh, this one, this race is better than the other race, and this race is 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 uh, you know this and that and all that garbage. I don't care. I don't care. You know, at the end of the day, hold your head up high. Be proud of your white. Hold your head up high. Be proud of your black. Hold your head up high. Be proud of your Hispanic or from wherever you are in this world. Hold your head up high. And wherever you're from. Be proud of it. If you're an American, be proud of being an American. If you're a European, be proud of being European. I don't care. Don't bow down to anybody, ever. That's all I got for you today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. On to the next one.